Let me simplify and explain to you the situation in the Georgia RICO case against Donald Trump as best I can. Sidney Powell was charged with six or seven felonies in Georgia related to a racketeering case. The state of Georgia claims that there was a criminal enterprise to overthrow the election in Georgia that Sidney Powell, Donald Trump, and others were a part of it. Sidney Powell has pled guilty not to felony charges, but misdemeanor charges related to conspiracy to commit intentional interference with the performance of election duties. Sidney Powell is now agreeing to testify against the other defendants, including Donald Trump. This becomes a problem for Donald Trump because under RICO, if you prove there was a criminal enterprise, there was an organized effort to overthrow the election in Georgia, each person's individual actions as part of that enterprise are imputed to all the other people in the enterprise, even if they had nothing to do with that particular aspect of it. It's one of the ways RICO is so powerful at taking down organized crime and gangs because you can have uh, three people who do something that the other people in the group are unaware of, but because it goes to the overall purpose of the crime, which in this case is overthrowing the election, their actions are imputed to all the other people. So Sidney Powell pleading guilty to interference with the election is now imputed to all the other people in the RICO case if they are found to be in a criminal enterprise to overthrow the election. So the first step regarding Donald Trump will be to determine, is he part of this criminal enterprise? If he is part of the criminal enterprise, unfortunately for him, someone who's admitting to be part of the criminal enterprise and is willing to testify against him is pleading guilty to crimes. This case suddenly gets much more serious for Donald Trump, given the way racketeering cases work in the state of Georgia. This case went from a bit of a nothing burger to all of a sudden uh, could potentially find the former president in serious hot water. Sidney Powell has agreed to testify against the other defendants as to her role in this. Uh, and because she pled guilty to intentional interference with performance of election duties, it's tied into the overarching structure of the alleged criminal enterprise, which was to overturn the election. This is bad for Donald Trump, but it's not nearly as bad as the classified documents case in Florida, where all they have to show is he withheld documents from a grand jury that requested them. Is there a way out of this for Donald Trump? Yes, there's an easy way out of this for Donald Trump. The easy way out of this for Donald Trump is to show he had no knowledge of anything related to a criminal enterprise to overthrow the election. He was just someone relying on his lawyer's advice. That actually is a way for Donald Trump to get out of this. The question, however, is what is Sidney Powell willing to testify about? That's the bigger issue here. What is she willing to testify about? What is she willing to say? Uh, what is her knowledge? Uh, people close to Donald Trump believe that Sidney Powell was at arm's length and was not directly engaged with uh, or in any of the conversations with Donald Trump. If so, that provides him a level of deniability. Also, don't forget that Fulton County is not a super Democrat county. There actually are a lot of Republicans, and just one of them on the jury could sabotage the entire prosecutor's case. If that one person just simply digs in their heels and refuses to find Donald Trump guilty, jury nullification is a thing. That's the lay of the land in Georgia. Sidney Powell pleading guilty to six misdemeanor counts of conspiracy to commit intentional interference with performance of election duties. She will pay a $6,000 fine, reimburse the state of Georgia $2,700 for some tampered with election equipment. She wrote a letter of apology to the people of Georgia. She'll receive six years probation and she will agree to cooperate with the prosecution and testify against the other defendants.